Hey folks, welcome back to Modern Country Living. It's Sean and it is Christmas Day 2023. We've got amazing weather here. Uh, just phenomenal weather for Northwestern Pennsylvania. It's in the mid fifties, probably, probably bumping up against 60 right now. And you know, some sunshine. Uh, we had just a, a great Christmas Eve uh, church a couple times and worship and just being able to be with friends and family and just uh, very, very blessed. And today, you know, beautiful morning. We celebrated together and uh, got outside, wanted to do a little car cleaning. And so washing vehicles and waxing them and just some things that I love to do. Uh, since I can't go work out at the Y today, uh, try to get some uh, some activity. But uh, the purpose of this video is uh, really regarding uh, this tractor behind me. Um, if you follow my channel, you'll know that uh, in 2004, I believe it was, I purchased my first tractor. And I went and looked at uh, lots of different brands. I test drove lots of different tractors and I ended up uh, purchasing a T TN75. And you can go check out my video on when I purchased that and see you know some of the things that i was looking for in the tractor and then how in 2014 2015 time period i ended up purchasing this larger model this is the t495 with a cab and it has been a great tractor uh, i like it a lot it has not let me down i've been able to go and do lots of things that uh, you know if i had a smaller tractor i just wouldn't have been able to do and you know, it's uh, got an eight, 800 and some hours on it and, and, you know, just excellent condition. You know, you can see, you know, how shiny it is because, you know, I'm a crazy dude and I like to wax my tractor. But uh, a couple months ago, I started looking at the T5 series and was interested in a dual command transmission and just kind of puttered around on the Internet, found a couple of them, uh, started doing some research. <clears throat> Long story short, uh, New Holland offered some pretty incredible incentives. Uh, this tractor uh, has a lot of value uh, given inflation and uh, it's been paid off for many, many, many years. I think I had two years of payments on it. Um, I don't like debt. Uh, so at any rate, I ended up getting serious about looking at making a deal and ended up uh, with a, a T5. Uh, so. Today's Christmas Day, I'm going to say farewell to this tractor. I'm going to get it loaded up on my gooseneck trailer and get prepared for tomorrow when I'm going to make a run, uh, probably 180 miles or so, down to uh, a dealer in uh, central Pennsylvania, south central Pennsylvania. And uh, I'm going to trade this tractor in. Uh, so... If you're looking for a phenomenal tractor, uh, you should be looking for one of these here real soon uh, down in uh, South uh, Martinsburg area. Yeah, Martinsburg, uh, Pennsylvania. And uh, I'm going to pick up the T5. So wanted to chronicle the journey, just talk a little bit about why I'm doing it and uh, give you some experiences as I tow this beast. <laughs> it weighs about 10,000 pounds and uh, get it down over the hills of Pennsylvania down to Forshee's Ag in Martinsburg, PA. So stay tuned uh, for some uh, highlights of this video. And hopefully if you see something you like, maybe drop a comment. If you have some questions, happy to answer them for you. And I really do appreciate you watching my channel and uh, checking out my other videos and maybe even subscribing. So stay tuned, let's get this going. So when I'm towing this thing, I like to have heavy chain and I'm a big fan of ratchet binders. So bought some heavy duty versions of those. And I like the lockdown by 
getting into that area, bringing it over to a tie down space along the side. And in the rear, probably gonna push the drawbar in and put a clevis on that and bring that over to one of the solid points over here on the corners of the trailer. Want it locked in real nice and tight. Don't want any big issues. You see, this is a really clean tractor. Got it all secured. Ended up not using the clevis. Went through uh, part of the rear hitch area. Got the ratchet binders on. Got her secured. See what I'm doing here, hopefully. And uh, yeah, I've towed this thing several times. It tows really well with the truck. Uh, all of my super duties have done a nice job with it. Uh, but this is gonna be the longest tow that I've done with uh, that kind of weight on it, which people are doing, you know, 20,000 pounds behind it right now. I think with the trailer and the tractor, I'm at about, probably about 16,000, maybe 16 and a half, depending on how much is in the box of the trailer. And I do have a full tank of fuel on this thing. So, yep, it'll be a fun ride. And it's the next day. There is no sunshine. <laughs> it is rainy and like 42 degrees. Christmas was beautiful today. Uh, not so much, but we're loaded up and we're going to start our little journey to go pick up the T5. And uh, yeah, travel mercies here. Very wet, but we'll give some updates as we move through it. All right, we're making our trek here. We're coming across 36 Titusville to Tynesta. Just a ton of, you go up a, you know, go up a hill, come down a six or seven or 8% grade, back up a hill, uh, you know, just gives the truck a workout, but it's handling it just fine, no problems. Um, it is a wet, nasty day here. Wish it was a little drier. And yeah, coming through uh, Tynesta, cute little town. Got some really neat little shops. And of course they've got the river and then Tynesta Reservoir, which as a kid, I used to come over here and fish. My grandfather, he had a pontoon boat and it was just uh, good times. Got him a downrigger, he used to drive around on Tynesta Dam there with the downrigger. He caught a huge muskie one time. It was it was enormous. But had some fond memories of being in Tynesta here. But cute little town. So you come down into the town, you're along the river, and then as you're heading south on 36 uh, towards Brookville, you come up the hill, which uh, this is a pretty good grade here and uh, the reservoir will be on your left. But uh, yeah, truck's running fine. Engine oil temp went to 208, I think, one time. That was it. It is 43 degrees out. So here we are, we're coming up to this grade. And here we go. So thankful for safe travels thus far make our way down to Interstate 80, head east, down through Phillipsburg, down by Altoona to Martinsburg. But uh, yeah, so uh, we're doing 55, we're in seventh gear, 2000 RPM. Seems to be holding pretty nice. remember back in the old days when you only had maybe 225 horsepower in a diesel truck and <laughs> maybe 400 foot-pounds of torque and you just uh, were lugging it all right so we're on this little steep section here Let's see if we can drop her down to six gear no it's holding seventh Great. Yep, 
yeah, as you're getting rid of something you've had for 10 years, almost 10 years as tractors has been kind of a part of part of my existence and done a lot of loader work with it, ton of snow plowing, taking it over to my neighbors, helping them out. Really, it's a it's a blessing to have the tractor and be able to do things that normally I wouldn't be able to do and help people. Um, I think that's one of the reasons I'm able to have it is, you know, the expectation that I'm going to use it to help people out, which I like using it and it gives me joy to be able to move stuff, dig stuff, take stumps out, you know, cut hay, move big bales of hay, pull things out that are stuck, move logs. Just been a very handy, handy thing to have. So I'm thankful for it. And I'm hoping the T5, uh, I'm hoping it's just as good, not better. Got some features that I think will help me as I'm getting older. Uh, be able to use the tractor a little bit easier and I'll share those in a video a shakedown video of it but all right so we're rolling along here came up that grade no problem and we'll make our way down this uh, direction south and we're nearing the end of the first leg of our journey here in Martinsburg Looks like it took us about three hours and 45 minutes. You can see we got some the big baler. Whew, that's a big one. But uh, yeah, got eight miles per gallon. Uh, set the cruise at 72 on the interstate. Lots of up and down on 36, the mountains and all that. So yeah, four she's ag and industrial got a lot of equipment here somewhere there's a blue tractor with my name on it all right we will get that figured out let's get this thing unloaded uh, my salesman, Brian, big shout out to him, taking care of me real efficiently. And they've got the tractor actually uh, inside right now. So I'm gonna get this one unloaded and get the other one loaded up. All right, let's take a look at it when it gets over here. Okay, so I'm here with my sales guy, Brian. So giving a big shout out to Brian for helping me out. Uh, he uh, watched what New Holland was doing with uh, the rates and uh, he's got the tractor that I wanted. and. Unfortunately, a rainy day here, Brian, but uh, I'm excited. <laughs> it's the day after Christmas, and I'm like a kid who just got the biggest stocking. So yeah, yeah. I appreciate your business, Sean. Yeah, thank you very much. And uh, we'll get this thing unloaded, and uh, we'll get that thing loaded up. All right, thank you very much, Brian. Yep, thank you for yeah. your business. You're very welcome. You're a good tractor, T495. But now, we're rolling over. Five one twenty. Alright, getting ready to rock and roll down the road. Shout out to Four She's Ag and Industrial. CA and Brian took care of me. There is the T four nine five. Great tractor treated me very well and now load it up with the T5 so it's kind of nasty weather here you may see the rain I'll have to do a more thorough review when I get it home and it's not nasty out but looks good I like the fenders the uh, T495 did not have the fenders Nice looking setup. So let's get this show on the road. And we're off. Loaded easy. Um, 
So just right now, I'm gonna spend a couple minutes. I'm driving on I-99 North towards State College. And I just wanted to talk a little bit about the transaction. So I started looking at the tractors a couple months ago, saw New Holland threw out some good, uh, good deals and wasn't originally gonna do anything, but uh, reached out to Brian. Um, and Brian, super nice guy, um, very helpful. Uh, no pressure, you know, it's not like I got any pressure from them. Um, they have a you know wonderful dealership there, uh, very clean, organized, you know, if you need New Holland oil, it's right there. If you need whatever, it's all lined out. So shout out to their dealership um, and Brian uh, for making the transaction very simple. Uh, we did everything via text and a couple of phone calls and then uh, then I came down and he had all the paperwork ready to go. And sorry, I might see a little bit of bumpiness here. Uh, took like five minutes in the office and then we went out and unloaded the tractors. So, you know, shout out to Brian, uh, super nice guy and good salesperson. You know, not pressuring me and helpful. I appreciate that. And so, you know, I'm pulling this and I he said it is uh, it does have loaded tires it means the rear tires uh, have uh, a liquid in them that is non corrosive but it adds ballast and it's something I thought about doing with my t4 but I never did uh, and so this one has it and I do notice the difference uh, it probably adds according to him around a thousand pounds per tire so the two rear tires are loaded and therefore I'm probably I did the math and I was around 17,000 pounds between the trailer and the tractor coming down. And I'm probably, you know, closer to 19, a little over 19 with uh, this new tractor. And yeah, so I noticed a little bit of a difference there, nothing substantial. I'm doing, you know, 66 miles an hour in a 65, keeping up with traffic. Um, I imagine I'll see something change in my mileage, but uh, at this point, I'm gonna go to my next destination, and then when I get it home, I will end up uh, doing a little more video, so I'll include it in this series, and then uh, I'll do some reviews. So, I'll catch you here in a minute. All right, day three of this adventure. Day one was loading up the tractor. Day two yesterday uh, was driving the T495 down to Martinsburg. Coming across 36, Interstate 80 and 99, down from Northwestern PA to Central PA. And today I'm coming from State College uh, and I am uh, nearing the end of my journey on Interstate 80, heading west to get on 36. Truck's getting 7.8 miles per gallon. Uh, big pull coming out of Milesburg, if you're familiar with this area. If you come out of Milesburg and join Interstate 80 West, it's a long, steep grade and truck went up to 226 degrees on oil temp. Everything held fine and, you know, we held steady at 70 miles an hour It locked into eighth gear. But uh, pulling nice right now, I'm in 10th gear and and uh, just coming around a little bend here. Uh, yeah, everything's going well. Excited to get this thing home and also hopefully for the rain to stop. It's been kind of miserable with all this rain and fog and. Uh, you know, just not weather that I prefer, but check in here in a little bit. Uh, just figure I'd give an update on this little journey. All right, everybody, 429 miles later and at eight miles per gallon, uh, old Taruk here, the F-350, safely uh, delivered the T-495 down to Martinsburg, uh, Pennsylvania, and then we picked up this T-5 and it is a, uh, it's just a yucky day. It's like 44 degrees, rainy, um, just not, not great weather to do a nice review of the tractor, but uh, wanted to highlight the, the journey. Um, pretty excited to get this off the trailer, get it cleaned up, um, and then uh, start putting it to good use. So I'll be doing some updates around that. Uh, appreciate you watching my channel and uh, sticking with me for this journey to pick up the T5120. Uh, the T495 is going to be someone else's, and uh, I wish them well with it. It'll be a good tractor for them. So 
thanks for watching my channel. Hopefully you have a, uh, a great day. And if you like what you see, hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks so much.